and welcome back to another episode of Electro Friday Views. If this is your first time here, then in that case, welcome to the channel. Today we are reviewing the Beach Bum 2 from Tower Electric Bikes. This is a beach cruiser that is truly fit for the beach. This e-bike has quality components all around, is incredibly comfortable to ride, and is surprisingly lightweight at just 51 pounds. The Beach Bum 2 has a starting price of $1,895 USD and comes in one color, black, and one frame size. Now, Tower is keeping things pretty short and sweet with this ride, and that simplicity is part of what helps keep that price down, which is a nice bonus. Something worth noting here is Tower offers a one-year comprehensive warranty on these bikes, and that's not something that you always see at e-bikes at this price point. So let's give 10 points to Tower. All right, let's dive into the specs. The Beach Bum 2 has a 500 nominal watt geared hub motor with 65 newton meters of torque. And this motor configuration is kind of in the Goldilocks zone where it doesn't have so much power that it drains the battery in like five minutes, but it doesn't have so little power that it can't make it up hills. With 500 watts and 65 newton meters of torque, you can pretty easily cruise around at the 25 mile per hour top speed with just the throttle. There's no pedaling really necessary, which is nice for those scenic beach routes. But when it does come to really big hills, you're probably gonna have to start pedaling if you want to stay at top speed. The drive system here is paired with a cadence sensor, which does have some latency with motor activation and deactivation, but since you've got the throttle on the beach bump too, and also motor inhibitors on the brakes, you can overcome that pretty easily whenever you need to. The battery on the beach bump too is a 48 volt, 14 amp hour battery with Samsung cells, which is another thing that you don't always see on e-bikes at this price point. Normally, we see something like LG cells, which are great, but generally speaking, you're gonna get a little extra longevity with the Samsung cells. This battery gives the Beach Bum 2 an advertised max range of 60 miles, but let's be honest, real world range is normally about half the advertised range. Still, now during our testing, we rode around for around 15 miles or so on the max pedal assist setting and really didn't pedal a whole lot and the battery indicator barely moved. So that's a really good sign. The battery is locking and removable and is located behind the seat post. And I really like this location because it just looks cleaner compared to having it in front of the seat post, which is normally where they are. On the other hand, it does shift the weight a bit more towards the back of the Beach Bum 2, which does make this bike a little unbalanced when you're trying to carry it around. Speaking of carrying it around, the Beach Bum 2 weighs in at just 51 pounds, but still has a max carry capacity of 350 pounds. Now that's impressive, and I immediately could feel the difference compared to heavier e-bikes when I picked this one up. You can see the extra gusset forking down from the top tube, and this gives the frame some added strength and stiffness, and it also helps to reduce frame flex when you're at higher speeds. Now, there is no suspension on the Beach Bum 2, so it's a bit of a stiff ride. If you wanted to smooth it out, though, you could grab an aftermarket seat post suspension for under 100 bucks, and those work surprisingly well. The tires on the Beach Bum 2 are honestly just awesome. The Schwalbe Fat Franks have K-Guard puncture protection and slime. So if you're able to get a flat on this bike, let's just say it was well earned. If you live somewhere like me that has a ton of goat heads in the summer, then I'm sure you know exactly how important good tires are. And honestly, that's a component that's just normally overlooked. The derailleur on the Beach Bum 2 is a skillful seven speed with a Shimano SIS index thumb shifter. This is the first time we've tested a skillful derailleur and I'm happy to say it's pretty snappy. Even better though, Tower got the gearing right on this bike and pedaling at 25 miles per hour in top gear feels absolutely perfect. To bring the Beach Bum 2 to a stop, we've got Tektro hydraulic disc brakes with 160 millimeter rotors in the front and the rear. These brakes offer ample stopping power, especially with the Schwalbe tires, and there's also motor inhibitors built into the brake levers, which helps ensure you have the shortest possible stopping distance. That's a great safety feature, especially with a bike like this that goes 25 miles per hour and has a cadence sensor. There is a headlight on the Beach Bump 2, and while it does a good job at increasing visibility, it's really not powerful enough for night riding. Wire management is great with everything bundled nicely and wrapped in plastic, which as you guys know, we absolutely love. And most of the wires are internally routed. The display on the Beach Bump 2 is on the left side of the handlebars and is easy to read even in direct sunlight. It's a grayscale LCD with not a lot of information, but 
it gets the job done. Overall, the Beach Bump 2 is just a super fun cruiser electric bike. It's fast, it has good power, good torque, good range, and despite the lack of suspension, it's pretty comfortable to ride for extended periods, and that's just one of the great benefits of a cruiser-style e-bike. That riding position is so much more upright and relaxed. This bike is going to be a great choice for anyone who enjoys cruisers, and with components like this on this ride at this price point, it's kind of hard to beat. All right, awesome peeps, that is it for the review of the Beach Bum 2. Now, let's take it out for a ride.